I would love Kobe. Like, I'm playing My Team Unlimited right now. Kobe would be incredible to have. Come on, come on. Let's end this right here on a- In this video, I'm opening all of the season five prize balls from the token market and the rewards inside are actually incredible. For all NBA 2K24 grinding, contact Rose NBA, link in description. In this video right here, guys, we are opening the season five prize balls. Now we have a limit of five. I have no idea what's in these. I'm hoping with some really good rewards, but for one token each, I think it's definitely worth it. So guys, leave a like on the video and make sure you have subscribed to the channel for more original, unique type videos like this right here. And we're gonna start off with opening up the first one and I'll start cracking it open. Comment down below if you're opening up these prize balls and comment down below as well if you've gotten anything good from them because I definitely want to know so make sure that's in the comments this is the reward for the first season five prize balls it is a deluxe electric pack and it's sellable like I can sell whatever I get from this pack I had no idea it was going to be that good of a prize ball I can only hope that the other four are gonna be like this. Let me get a pink diamond. Please give me a pink diamond. It is going to be a duplicate amethyst that I already have, but I can sell that for eight and a half thousand MT. That is a dub in my books. Straight onto buying the next one. It's already so worth it. Like I said, I can only hope the next four are just as good. I have a feeling they're gonna be trolls, but even if I end up with just getting that one deluxe pack, it's a dub. Second prize ball cracked open and we got 2000 MT inside. That is a very solid reward as well. These balls are only taking one game to open up. I was hoping I was getting lucky with these season five prize balls because they were all just one game, but this one was like five games. This one took a long time to actually crack open. But what's this one gonna be? Something good, I hope. It is a dynamic duo deluxe pack. These season five prize balls are actually so awesome. So we've got a guaranteed dynamic duo. Again, it is sellable, which is just honestly amazing. Come on, let me see you shaking this one. Doesn't shake shake again but it is going to be a duplicate lebron james so i can sell this for again another 7000 mt so even though they're duplicates that i've been getting from these promo packs they're making me a good amount of mt this is the fourth season five prize ball crack and open it we have not taken an l yet what's this what's number four gonna be and there's our first l i spoke too soon i just i literally just jinxed myself right there with that shoe pack that is not a good reward whatsoever picking up the final prize ball right here guys and that's only a total of five tokens we've spent and I've gotten two deluxe packs and I got the 2000 MT. We've got amethyst in both those deluxe packs. So that was 14,000 plus the extra 2000 we got. I've made 16,000 MT and I'm just grinding and triple that offline anyway, like something I'd be doing just anyway. And here is the final prize ball right now, guys, that we're gonna open. Hopefully we ended on something good. We're three out of four and it's gonna end on, I'm considering 2000 MT a double. Uh, four out of those five prize balls were amazing. We got 4,000 MT straight from two prize balls and we got two deluxe packs as well. Electric and Dynamic Duo, both sellable. Now, unless you really want to get like this Galaxy Opal, Sydney Moncrief, Derek Coleman or Kendall Gill, I would honestly focus on just getting those prize balls, get them as soon as you can because they're extremely rewarding and tokens aren't that easy to come across, especially the fact that they get reset after every new season so yeah i highly recommend getting those prize balls done we're now going to end this video opening up some wild west packs to see if we can land the big shack see if big shack wants to come out and play 21k per pack is pricey. You already know it. You've already seen me rip these. You've already seen me try my hardest. But 2K, man, these odds are absolutely absurd. If you saw, I mean, if you saw Troy Dan's pack opening, that speaks for itself. I mean, he got, he spent a ton trying to get Kareem, but then he posted just a video. It wasn't a live stream of him trying to get uh, Shaq, and he opened 1,000 packs. It's absolutely crazy, right? Here's a diamond pool, but a thousand, oh, a thousand and one packs is what he actually opened to get Kobe, and he, he to get sorry Shaq, and he couldn't get Shaq. He still was unable to get that. 100 overall Shaq, and he only got one Kobe. In a th 1,001 packs, he got one Kobe Bryant. That is crazy. You definitely, like every time I go into opening up packs, 
I, ha I have a limit. That's what I think Troy Dan's uh, Achilles heel is, is the fact that he doesn't have a limit. It's insane. He just goes and goes and goes. And right here is a pink diamond, which is pretty dope. Might be able to open up a 10 box if I sell everything, actually. This is going to be LaMarcus Aldridge. But it, it took, he said in his video as well that he was like opening packs for like five, six hours. Just non-stop going through these animations. Like, I would drive a man mental. Still not enough for a 10 box, but we'll keep going with these singles. But yeah, I look forward to the day that I hit 100 overall. I hope it's not the end of year packs. You know, I hope it's not those end of year packs where there's just 100 overalls everywhere. Come on, level me up. I was hoping we'd go diamond, pink, diamond, opal, but we're going backwards. We went diamond, pink, diamond, back to amethyst. And it's gonna be, I think that's Terry Cummings, I think. I, I've pulled him that many times, yet I still somehow managed to forget. I think he just looks nothing like his player model. His car doesn't look like the actual person that comes out of the tunnel. But when I see that, that different type of a shake, but eventually we're gonna get dark matters in packs and dark matters are not gonna be as exciting as 100 overalls. Obviously 100 overalls, are, are the, they're the best cards that come out this year. There's no way, I don't think it's, it's physically not possible to get a card to come out better than a 100 overall. But if a dark matter has that same shake, dark matters are gonna be like trolls from the jump. If you see that shake, you're gonna want it to be 100. If 100 overall is in the packs as well, obviously. But I just, I, I do, I didn't think the pacing was that bad with this 2K, but the 100, the 100 overalls, getting them this early is crazy. And the fact that we just, we don't have dark matter. So it's like, I have never actually come across a 100 overall yet. I have never had to play verse against a 100 overall, but I haven't got the facilities for that. I don't know if I can guard that. I don't have like dark matters. Like I've got Galaxy Opal D Rob and like Pink Diamond Victor Webb and Yama, so maybe I can somewhat hold my own. You'd kind of, I kind of feel like you'd need if you're gonna at least really try to defend a card like a like what if someone's got a hundred overall Shack, a hundred overall Green? I can't guard that. You know, I need like Dark Matters just to stand a chance against it, just to try and guard it. You know, but I don't know. That's just that's just quick little thought. We were shaking our first like three packs shook. Now nothing's shooken. But if I want that 100 overall to eventually happen, I gotta keep ripping. I gotta keep ripping. I gotta keep bringing you guys content. I want. I would love to end this video on a Galaxy Opal. This is Marcus Camby. Haven't actually seen this diamond in a while. Normally I pull Marcus Smart or the other guy that I can't pronounce his name, the guy that plays for the Kings. But Marcus Camby, haven't seen him in a minute. A Kobe would be amazing as well because his pink diamond Kobe is is still nuts. You know, and there's so many people that had that pink diamond Kobe, especially from the the poor George glitch when that happens. So many people still use Pink Diamond Kobe. And the amount of people that, like no one just got Pink Diamond Kobe and was like, yep, this card's good enough. The like, majority of people that got Pink Diamond Kobe badged him the hell out. There's so many Kobe's out there with like 60 plus Hall of Fame badges. We're gonna get a Baron Davis, which is gonna give us another 50,000. So, I mean, I'll keep going. If 2K is gonna give me enough to keep going, I will keep going. But yeah, like I, gonna, I don't have a limit right now for like my MT. I'm happy to spend everything, but yeah, it definitely goes back to like Troy Dan not setting a limit which is crazy when it comes to spending real money like you definitely if i don't recommend opening packs but if you're going to you absolutely need to spend a limit don't just like the Trudian was at the point where if he opened up pack 1001 and it was it was shack who gives a damn like he is not worth i think Troy Dan spent 3800 uh dollars american usd that is insane for anyone that's australian that's like five grand plus five to five and a half thousand i think it's around that he spent to try and get Shaq, and he didn't. And if he did, it still isn't worth it. But the fact that you can only get him from packs, if you want the card, you know, but still, I obviously do not recommend that. Come on, can we get something other than that's not a pink diamond, diamond or emerald? I'm really trying to see an opal. One thing that is for sure though, if and when I get a 100 overall, there's no way in hell I will ever sell that card. And if you have a 100 overall, do not sell it because you'll never get that card again. Like you, you will not be able to get that card on your account again. So it's like, if I ever get to that point where when I get to that point, when I get a 100 overall, like if I pulled Shaq right now, and the fact that he they only quick sell for 200,000 MT, that is not worth it. If they sold for like a million, because think about it, if there was an auction house, a, 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 that 100 overall Shaq and Kareem, man, they would sell, even with or without 
MT websites run on the market or not, they would sell for an absolute crazy amount. It would be insane. Another diamond. 2K do not want to give me an opal right now. He's that Diamonds King player that I was telling you about that I cannot pronounce his name. I wish it was a holographic. Vlade. Is it Vlade? It looks, it looks like it's spelt like Vlade. So yeah, if you got a 100 overall, hang on to it. Hold it close. Because not many people got them. I would like to know how many people actually have a 100 overall card. I reckon the ratio of people that have a 100 overall against... Oh, let's go. That's an opal. Finally, we do clutch up and get a Galaxy Opal pool. I was gonna say the amount of people that would have, the, the amount of people that play 2K and the amount that have a 100 overall would be crazy. I would love Kobe. Like I'm playing my team unlimited right now. Kobe would be incredible to have. Come on, come on. Let's end this right here on a Kobe. It is not Kobe. It is Rashad Lewis. Does he play? I don't know. Does Rashad Lewis play? I mean, I'm sh I'm sure. Is he better than like Pink Diamond Mellow? You know, I mean, definitely worth trying out, but we did get that Galaxy Opal pool that I was desperately looking for. So make sure you do leave a like and subscribe for that right there. And that's how we're going to end this video, guys. I recommend those prize balls. Got a Galaxy Opal pool. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you in the next upload. It's been Witness.